guys, welcome to video four. I hope you enjoyed last week's video. We're going to start with a game, it's called Stick It, and then we're going to do our pie crawls, tuck holds on the wall, and a little challenge. Let's get started. So we're going to start off with a warm up game, it's called Stick It. So your coach is going to ask you to do a jump or a skill, and when you land, you need to land in your motorbike, and you have to hold for three seconds. After that, we're going to add on another jump, and you have to do the same previous jump. Before. We're going to start off with a straight jump, and we're going to land in motorbike. And straight jump, one, two, three. Now we're going to do a star jump. So you're going to do a straight jump first. And then star jump. Hold it. One, two, three. And we're going to do a tuck jump. So straight jump first. Star jump. And tuck jump. And hold it. One, two, three. And then we're going to do a jump half turn. So you're going to straight jump. Star jump. Tuck jump. And jump half turn. Hold your motorbike. Right one. And after that, we're going to do another tuck jump. So straight jump, star jump, tuck jump, jump half turn, tuck jump. Great work. Maybe if you wobbled, you could try doing it one more time. Alright, so now we're going to move on to our stretching. Starting off, we're going to do a quick neck stretch. So we're going to look up to the ceiling, down to the floor, to the left and to the right. And now little half circles to the bottom. And the other way. And back to the middle. Okay, next thing, you're gonna need two little objects that you can pick up and move side to side. So you can use toys, you can use cans, little containers, anything is fine. So we're gonna start with our feet together. And we're gonna practice our pipe. Going down to the ground, so reaching off the floor, touching your hands, walk out in front until you're in a front support position. Grab one of your objects and move it to the side. Then walk back in and stretch back up tall. Now we're going to do the same thing, but put the object to our other side. So reaching down to the floor, walking your hands out, make sure you keep your legs nice and straight and squeeze your bottom. Grab the object and put it to your other side. Now we're going to walk back in, and this time we're going to hold our pike position here for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, next thing we're going to do, sitting down on the floor in our straddle. Make sure you keep your legs nice and straight, squeeze your knees and point your toes. So first thing, reaching up with your, ears next, your arms next to your ears and reaching forwards, trying to get your belly button down to the floor. Okay, I hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to reach over to one side with our opposite arm. So you're going to take your outside arm over to your foot. And now to the other side. And hold. Make sure you're squeezing both knees. And sitting back up tall. And one more time to the middle. This time we're going to take our arms out to our toes. And hold five, four, three, two, one. All right, coming in onto our knees, we're gonna go into a lunge on our right leg first. So you wanna make sure you have your knee and your ankle in line, hands on hips or on your knees balance and pushing forwards so you stretch your back leg. Okay, hold this for a little minute. All right, now we're gonna pull back onto our back knees. So put your weight on your back leg, keep your hips straight and reach down, try to get your nose to your knee. At this point, you can also flex and point your toes. From here, we're going to move into our slip, so slide forwards, try to keep your hips as straight as possible, point your toes, try to keep your back up tall and hold for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now switch into the other leg. So lunge first. Make sure you're pushing deep with your back leg, squeeze your bottom forwards, and keep your chest up tall. And pull back to our hamstring stretch. Make sure you're keeping your hips straight and also flex and point your foot. Alright, sliding into splits on this side. And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, last one, middle splits. So 
taking your legs out to the side, you can lean on your hands or your elbows. Just make sure you keep your bottom in line with your feet. So you want to make a nice straight line all the way across. And holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, now we're going to move into our candlestick. So for this one we're going to lay on our back. You can use your arms to support you under your bottom, but we're going to try and get our toes up to the roof. Push our bottom up in the air, squeeze your hips forward, and look up at your toes. You want to point your toes up to the ceiling. So if you need your hands to balance, you can put them where Shannon has hers, on your lower back or on your bottom, or you can put them out beside you. This one's a little bit trickier, but make sure you squeeze your bottom and your tummy. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. All right, last thing, we're going to stretch a couple of our bridge positions. So first one we're going to do is seal. So into our seal position, try to keep your hands near your hips, look up at the ceiling and squeeze your feet together behind you. If you can, you can try and touch your feet to your head. <laughs> Good work. All right, and now going into our angry cat position. And through to our lazy back. Stretch out our back seal. And the last one we're going to do is three tuck rods to make sure we turn our back straight kicks. So one, all the way up, make sure you hold one hand on each knee. Two, and three. Good work. Alright, so now we're going to move on to our next exercise. This one's our leg lifts. So these are five high rows. So we're going to have the hands by your sides. We're going to lift one leg up each, so we're going to start with our right leg and we're going to do it five times. You're going to go in one, two, point your toes, three, squeeze your legs, four, and five, and we're going to do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, and now we're going to lift our bottom up and we're going to hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so now we're going to start off with our pipe rolls. We're going to start in our pencil. We're going to reach up tall. You're going to put your hands on the floor. You're going to walk your hands three times forward. One, two, three. You're going to keep your legs bent and together. And you're going to tuck your head in to your chest. You're going to push through your legs. Keep your legs straight. And you're going to finish in your L sit. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Finishing on our bottoms. Arms up, hold it one. Hands on the floor, walk your hands forward three times. You're going to bend your legs and push, and you're going to do your else. Now to make it harder one, we're going to finish off our bottom. So you're going to hold your bottom of the floor, arms up, flat hands down, walk your hands forward three times, bend your legs and push, and you're going to hold your bottom up for one, two, three, and we're going to do it one more time. Arms up, flat hands down, one, two, three, and you're going to push through your legs and hold up the bottom. One, two, three. Alright, now we're going to move on to our first handstand drill. This one's going to be a tough hold against the wall. So we're going to find a nice position in your house where you have a wall that you're allowed to lean on. You can use a pillow under your head as well if you want to. Um, and we're going to start with our back facing wall. We're going to place our hands on the floor in front of us. You can walk them away a little bit, but make sure you're not too far away from the wall because we are going to be pulling our feet up. From here, make sure you squeeze your elbows really nice and hard and squeeze your um, arms next to your ears as well. Then we're going to take one foot up at a time and walk our feet up the wall until we're in a bunny hop position. And you want to make sure your feet and your knees and your hips are in right angles. So you want to make a nice squat. Up, up, up. <laughs> and we're going to hold this for five seconds. Make sure you squeeze your tummy in as well so you keep your anchor in that position with your hands down. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. Make sure when you finish holding, you walk your feet back down, don't just drop out. We're going to do this one more time and hold for another five seconds. This time, we're going to show you what to do with your pillow. So you're going to put your pillow in front of your head and put your hands just in front of it. So if you fall, you can land on the, on the pillow. All right, and one more time, squeezing your arms, walk your feet up the wall. You can walk your hands in a little bit if you need to and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and walking back down. Okay, so our next handstand drill is going to be a bunny hop trying to touch our feet to the wall. So this one's to try and help you find where a vertical position is in our handstand. You can use your pillow again, we put it up against the wall, so in case you fall, you can land on your nice pillow again. So to start, we're going to stand a little bit away from the wall. You can play around with this position and see what's comfortable for you. 
but you want to make sure you have enough room to do your bunny hop position to start. So we're going to bend over, pop our hands in here, make sure we squeeze our elbows, round our chest like our angry cat position, and then you're going to bend your knees and do a bunny hop, squeezing your arms to your ears, cool. and try and touch the wall with your feet. So Shannon missed on that one, that's okay, you might miss at home as well, but we're going to try and do a little bit bigger jump this time to touch our feet to the wall. So ready, go again, bend over, hands flat, squeeze your elbows, big jump, push a bit harder to try and touch the wall and come back down. And then standing back up in your middle back position. So if you found the wall, great job. If you didn't, you can try a couple more times until you can. Okay, so whether you touch the wall or not, we're going to do another three together. So ready, Shannon? First one, squeeze and jump. Touch the wall and come back down. Back up from away. One more time, two more times. Jump and touch the wall. Make sure you're squeezing your chest in and keeping your shoulders strong. And hold and last one, jump, touch the wall. Squeeze your chest and your shoulders and back down. Okay, good work. You can do a couple more. I want you to do five more against the wall in your own time. So you can pause the video and do that now. All right, so now we're gonna do a split balance challenge. So you're gonna need something to balance on your head. You can use a beanbag if you have one or a teddy, something small that you can put on your head and keep it there. So what we're gonna do is slide down into your best leg splits, whichever one, we don't mind. And you're gonna try and balance your toy or whatever you have on your head while you slide all the way down, then turn into a straddle and then stand back up on the other side. So Shannon's gonna show us, we're gonna have a go. So without hands, as long as you can, slide all the way down. Keep your legs straight, squeeze your tummies. And then in splits, roll to straddle. And then bring one leg over the top of the other and try to stand up without using hands <laughs> or jumping the bean bag. <laughs> so Shannon failed at that point, if you kept going, really good job. You can try this a couple times and then see how you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video. Stay tuned for next week's video. <laughs> <laughs>